How you going there fellas? Welcome to 111 of G Hallows Beer Reviews. You can see on this beautiful winter's afternoon, I'm going to be reviewing Sol. Sol beer from Mexico. Uh, anyone from Australia would know this. It's quite popular, probably just behind um, Corona. Uh, and I imagine in many other countries it's around, but um, of course in Mexico as well. Uh, comes in this clear bottle, as you can see, 4.5% alcohol by volume. A 330 milliliter bottle, so it actually looks pretty attractive, doesn't it? Like, yeah, there's a fairly new design from what I what I remember. They used to look a bit differently, different to this, um, but yeah, they look pretty cool, don't they? Like, you know, you're in a bar and you're thirsty and you saw these. Um, they definitely got that look for um, the marketing purposes. But anyway, let's get on to the important part: the brew. Uh, so, how have you fellas been? You're doing all right. I know it's been a while since the review, but usual story just lots going on but um, I'm back this afternoon all right let's pour it into this Pilsner glass or lager glass lager Pilsner serves both purposes okay I'll just let that head settle down a little bit looks good very carbonated I don't know I'll try and show you that on the camera but you probably see that uh, yeah, it looks bloody good though. It's a um, nice light golden color. Looks refreshing. Very carbonated. And I think that's what they market with these type of brews. You know, a refreshing drink when it's hot or even when it's not hot because it's not that hot today. But yeah, it's um, definitely got that look about it. It looks good. Alright, so there we go. As for the smell. You know, I'm picking up you probably hear my young bloke, he's crying inside, but his scream can probably go through, through the glass door. Sorry if you can hear him. He's only he's, um, a young bloke, when was he born in April, so yeah, he's still, he's still love crying when he's hungry and needs a nappy change. But <laughs> mm, Anyway, so I'm picking up like a, a nice corn smell. If you can call it nice for corn, but... It's definitely a big part of it. It's like a, a corn sort of rice smell. You know it's definitely an adjunct, adjunct lager. A little bit of sweetness at the back there, a little bit. But not much on the hoppiness side of things. Anyway, most important part, taste test. Cheers. Now, for the taste, it's actually pretty good. It's nice and malty. So I wasn't getting any of that, hardly any of the malts through the smell, um, but with the, with the flavour, it's actually there, and it's quite nice. It's got a, definitely a nice little malt uh, malt flavour there. As for the body, they're yeah, very light, but in a good way. Um, you know, with this type of brew, you want it to be refreshing and and not too heavy, uh, especially if it's your first beer or it's a you know, like I said, a hot day, these these would go down a treat, but even um, on a day like today, you know, it's fairly cool today. It's sunny, but it's cool. It's very refreshing. As for the bitterness, not much, as you would expect. A little bit at the, at the end there, a tiny little bit of bitterness, but um, yeah, no, it's pretty good. I, I've had these before countless times. You know, same with um, Corona. A lot of people might like to drop a bit of lime in there or in the bottle or a bit of lemon, a bit of citrus and that, that's a nice little twist on it. Um, I don't mind doing that every now and then. Uh, depends what you like but I reckon Corona and these type of beers and so on, you know, they're not too bad on their own. They um, they sort of, uh, you know, hit the spot without, oh, here comes, here comes my daughter. Hey man, I'm just doing a review. Give me a couple of minutes. All right, back to it. Yeah, so these top. Please. Um, anyway, she's talking to the dog now. Yeah, so I lost my train of thought. I'll get back onto it. Um, yeah, it's good brew. Anyway, so come on inside, please. Sorry to distract you, everyone. It was a bit of noisy. Inside, please. <laughs> I'm too far into it now to stop, so I can't stop it. Uh, sorry. All right, back onto with the beer. Okay, nice bit of maltiness there. 
you get in your corn and your sort of rice flavours as you expect with this type of brew. Uh, body is quite light, but in a good way. It's not over the top. It's not too uh, heavy. Uh, and, it, and for a refreshing beer, that's exactly what you want. So it, it is nice. And, um, you know, in Australia, you can pick these up for $40 a case, which isn't too bad. So in saying that, I'll give it one more uh, sip and I'll give it a score. All right, what would I give Soul? I'll give it 7 out of 10. I think it's a um, good brew, nice and refreshing. Yeah, I know I've said that a countless times, but uh, I got a bit distracted there with the young one. But hey, something new. You know, you've, you've heard um, the voice of my daughter, so <laughs> in the beer reviews. Oh, you know, that's what it's like. You know, we're all human. We've always got family and stuff hanging around. Uh, it's probably one reason why I don't get to do a lot because the house is always full. But yeah. All right. Thanks, fellas, for watching again. 7 out of 10 for Seoul. See you in the next video. Cheers.